Just normal heat from the engine inside. Just yeah. Out, there's, a, there's a little bit of moisture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. John Parkhouse describes a bedroom fire where he used the DSPA. Again, it was a room and content fire that uh, was not a free burning state. There was several pieces of uh, furniture that were involved. Uh, room temperature to the ceiling was uh, right around 1200 degrees, right around 6 to 800 right at the floor level. Uh, the room was close to fully involved, rolling out of the doorway onto us. At that time, the unit was deployed, slid into the room. What uh, you can expect as you pull the cord, you'll hear a, a slight pop. At that time, you have to throw the unit in there and deploy it. When that was done, we closed the door on it. After that, there was a loud hissing sound. It sounded like uh, it sounded like water or some type of thing was being applied to the uh, to the room. You could actually hear it. It was real loud out there. After about 20 seconds of that, we opened the door up. Immediate blackness. There was no involved fire that we saw. There was no fire meeting us at the door when we came out. And uh, immediate thermal readings of the room had dropped it down in half. Ceiling was 600. The floor was right around 300. Close the door, let it act some more. About another 30 seconds later, open it up. The complete entire room was 300 degrees, roughly, and very, very minimal water on this one with overhaul. And the fire was extinguished. We opened the door, it, it, that's when the, the room had flashed and put us on our backs. So when we opened the door back up, we had, a, you know, we had a lot of fire coming out through the hallway and out of the room. And uh, at that point, that's when we, we deployed, uh, deployed it. And it actually, it shut the door. We didn't shut the door, but it grabbed the door shut and shut it. We, we were unsure whether or not it had deployed or not. So we opened the door back up and we had no fire coming out at all. It was, uh, it was just black, blackness. One of the main benefits the DSPA brings to firefighters and property owners is that property damage is kept to a minimum since you are not using as much water to put out the fire. Water is often the most damaging part of a structure fire, destroying the structure, integrity, and personal property. We open up the door, hit the, uh, hit the ceiling a couple times. It kind of came back at us a little bit, rolled out a little bit, and we hit it uh, probably with about 15, 20 gallons of water, and then... Uh, you know, extinguish the rest of it at that time. This fire was picking up, the smoke was coming down, the thermal layering was starting to happen, started to feel the heat. Uh, and then once uh, they said deploy the, the device, I saw it throw in there. I looked, I saw it laying on the floor, saw the spark burning on the inside, and then the agent released. And then about 15 to 20 seconds later, it cooled off. It was amazing. Was Firefighter Brian Heron was in the room to see and feel it do its work. The temperatures went from eight to nine hundred degrees at the ceiling down to two hundred degrees in a matter of thirty seconds. Uh, it's amazing. It's EMS and police departments could also benefit. For those to, those officers to have a device, if they see smoke showing or flame showing, to toss that in there to give us as volunteers a little extra time to respond, get our equipment together, 
to get to the scene could could mean a difference between somebody living in